Just blocks from Exposition Park along the busy Vermont Avenue corridor in South LA sits the massive white and purple halls of Manual Arts High School. The arts has an incredible history as the third oldest high school in Los Angeles, spanning more than a century. Throughout its time, however, the campus has been raised, revitalized, and reimagined. It was the site of both community and disagreement, success and failure, and most of all, honor. The purple hue of the manual arts toilers has withstood the test of time and is essential to Los Angeles public education history. But what's the story behind the South LA school, its streamlined modern architecture, and the relentless toiler pride? It all starts with the growing pains of Los Angeles as it began to tackle mass public education in the early 1900s. According to the book Spirit of the Toilers, An Intimate History of Manual Arts High School, the Los Angeles Board of Education in 1909 implemented emergency provisions to address the overcrowding at Los Angeles' two post-elementary schools, Los Angeles and Polytechnic High Schools. As more eligible high school students arrived in Los Angeles and enrolled into public school, they were sent to a temporary overflow school housed in the Olive Street School, an abandoned grammar school and Los Angeles school storage supply facility in the heart of the city on Olive Street near 4th and 5th Streets. Within one academic year, the overflow school had an enrollment of over 500 students, but the temporary quarters could not keep pace with Los Angeles's rapidly expanding student population. In January of 1910, the Los Angeles Board of Education began accepting bids to construct Manual Arts High School, which would be built on 10 acres of land near the intersection of Vermont Avenue and 42nd Street. The proposed campus site at the time was the southern edge of Los Angeles City, and it was formerly a grain field and a violet garden surrounded by dirt roads. In response to the massive overflow of students housed at the Olive School, the Los Angeles Board of Education planned for manual arts to accommodate more than twice as many students as the Olive Street School and more than four times as many instructors, building upon its pre-existing staff. Architect firm Parkinson and Bergstrom designed Manual Arts High School as a mission-style campus complete with thick arches along its open hallways and a secluded courtyard nestled in the heart of the campus. Despite its subjective beauty, the Los Angeles Board of Education rushed builders to construct the school as soon as possible requiring three eight-hour shifts daily, a constant 24-hour workday, to ensure the campus would be completed before the fall semester commenced. The arts opened in the fall semester of 1910, but it was only partially complete. The main administration building wasn't finished despite the rushed construction, but the domestic arts, science building, and mechanical arts buildings were ready for classroom usage. The administration building would open sometime after 1912. From the beginning of the new school, Manual Arts had an array of sports programming, including competitive rugby, basketball, football, tennis, baseball, and wrestling teams, among many other competitive activities. While the arts sport teams have historically been known as the Toilers, the school athletic teams were initially known as artisans in their formative years. The school adopted Toilers for its major sports team and later the school identity around 1915. Among all of the Toiler athletes, the school's track and field team were the most decorated in awards and titles, sweeping wins from schools across Los Angeles County. In fact, the Manual Arts track team won state championships twice in 1915 and again in 1953. Beyond sports, Manual Arts lived up to its name for its selection of trade and creative skills students could explore during their high school careers. Many students participated in arts and crafts courses, such as basket weaving, and other students explored practical skills, such as bookkeeping, typing, home economics, and billing. The school had a theater program, while students interested in the design of sets built stages for the acts. Manual arts at the school also included automotive and sheet metal courses. Agricultural students had a whole field to themselves and also commonly demonstrated tractor usage during school hours while other students practiced gardening and botany. 
As Los Angeles continued to sprawl and manual arts paved more opportunity for its students, the campus enrollment swelled. Manual arts anticipated 1,000 students to enroll in the new campus in 1910. Within a decade, the campus population had more than doubled to 2,500 students. And in the 1924 academic year, more than 3,100 students registered for the school, requiring manual arts to set up temporary outdoor tents to keep up with student population expansion. On March 10, 1933, the Long Beach earthquake struck Los Angeles County, damaging over 155 schools across the region, including Thomas Jefferson and George Washington High Schools, while Manual Arts High School's mission-style campus, particularly its English Science and Physical Education buildings, were also deemed unsafe after the quake. The Los Angeles Board of Education ordered much of the original campus to be raised in July of that year. For the next two years, students and teachers would hold class in makeshift bungalows on the campus site. The campus rebuilding process started in August of 1934. The board elected to rebuild the administration building, science building, and girls' gymnasium, which were all financed by the Public Works Administration funding under President Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal. The Los Angeles Board of Education planned for three new school buildings on Vermont Avenue to be ready for 3,500 manual arts students who would be attending in the fall of 1935. Architects John and Donald Parkinson, who were affiliated with the firm that built the original manual arts campus, redesigned the new manual arts main campus buildings in a streamlined modern style. This new design allowed for more natural light exposure in classrooms while also embellishing the buildings with attractive curves that hug the facade of each structure. Throughout the 40s, 50s, and 60s, manual arts saw a massive change in its campus and student population. In the 1960s, there were roughly 3,600 students enrolled in manual arts with a diverse student population, though predominantly black. This change in demographics, however, sparked racial tensions on and around the Manual Arts campus. During the fall semester of 1967, the Black Congress, NAACP, and two community politicians sponsored demonstrations in front of Manual Arts High School, imploring the removal of the school's principal, Robert Dennehy. The picketers asserted that the principal had denied students access to bathrooms, imposed disciplinary actions on students without notifying parents, and refused to let a black senior, Angela Bates, graduate when she did not meet the school's course requirements. After much back and forth between external groups and manual arts, Dennehy elected to transfer out of manual arts, but his application was denied by the Los Angeles Board of Education. The picketing groups implored the Los Angeles School Board to investigate the claims at Manual Arts High School in September of 1967. In defense of the principal, one teacher wrote an opinion piece that denounced the claims of the picketing groups. Dennehy did what teachers always expect of a principal. He upheld the judgment of the teacher who failed Angela. The teacher said in relation to Dennehy refusing to let the student graduate after failing a required course. In a petition cited in the opinion, more than 97% of manual arts teachers agreed with Dennehy. The protest continued over six weeks, but toward the end of the protest, the peaceful assemblies in front of manual arts turned violent. The Los Angeles Times reported that on Thursday, October 19, 1967, nine people were injured and at least 30 people were arrested during a disturbance that ensued from the protest and an estimated 400 people, none manual arts students, took part in the disturbance along a 20-block stretch of Vermont Avenue near the school. Some individuals not associated with the school climbed the fences of manual arts and began vandalizing the campus. I spoke with Michael Sean, who was a manual arts student and junior varsity football player during the disturbance. But that day, in front of manual, the football coach he ordered the football team to stand in front of the auditorium that was facing Vermont Avenue and calling on, on the football team, and I was a junior varsity, to go out there, you know, and uh, protect the school. <laughs> hey, brother, you know, the football team is a student body, and, and the brothers weren't feeling that, you know? I mean, we stood on the auditorium 
City police helped disperse the unruly crowd several hours later. Teachers of manual arts stormed the Los Angeles school board meeting, asking for the Board of Education to close the campus until agitators could be stopped. But the board voted against closing the school, promising to increase security around the campus. The teachers believe only a small minority of on-campus students were taking part in the disturbances and emphasized that the threat remained outside of the campus, not inside. The next day, a second disturbance followed and the arrested toll around Manual Arts High School climbed to a total of 34 people. School attendance, however, took a hit. Roughly 50% of the student body and 16% of teaching staff were absent during the school days following the protest. By the second day of demonstrations with Los Angeles police on tactical alert, the Los Angeles Board of Education later promised additional protections to maintain order at Manual Arts on campus and offered to accept a transfer application from Dennehy if he elected to resubmit one. Dennehy immediately went on sick leave after the event, and when he returned in January of 1968, the Los Angeles City School System offered him an administrative post in teaching recruitment at the Board of Education headquarters. In late 1967, Crenshaw High School was built and relieved the 3,700 pupil Manual Arts High School from students who resided between Western and Van Ness Avenues. Within that year, the school's population shrunk to 2,800 students. In the early 2000s, Manual Arts High School was once again impacted by enrollment. Manual Arts instituted a year-round schedule as opposed to a September to June calendar to ensure its 3,200 students could be taught. LA's Promise, formerly MLA Partner Schools, built West Adam Preparatory High School in the Pico Union neighborhood of Los Angeles to help relieve Manual Arts of its impacted enrollment. The Los Angeles School Board also took additional action in the mid-2010s to reduce overcrowding at Manual Arts by building Dr. Maya Angelou Community High School in the South Park neighborhood of South LA in 2011 and Augustus Hawkins High School in the Vermont Slauson neighborhood in 2012. As the school struggled with enrollment, academic achievement, and access to resources became a salient topic for the campus. In 2009, Manual Arts High School teaching staff voted to leave its local district and in turn be managed by the education reform nonprofit LA Promise, which took over John Muir Middle School and opened West Adams Preparatory High School two years earlier. LA Promise operated Manual Arts for 10 years until the organization ceased operation of the school. In 2019, Manual Arts returned to being managed by LAUSD. Today, Manual Arts High School is one of the oldest high schools in Los Angeles that still stands on its original location. While the school has been destroyed and rebuilt, the toiler tenacity has never fallen. Over-enrollment is also no longer an issue at this South Los Angeles high school. The California dashboard lists Manual Arts enrollment at 1,038 students in 2022, which is less than a third of its enrollment in the early 2000s. The school continues to be deeply committed to raising academic capacity and scores for all students. Manual Arts is currently divided into four learning communities, the Freshman Preparatory Academy, School of Business, Entrepreneurship, Service, and Technology, School of Medical Sciences, Arts, Research, and Technology, and the College Preparatory Magnet. The school also has a wide range of activities, including a culinary arts program, music, and a vast selection of sports. While much has changed on the white and purple campus, Manual Arts will forever rest as a dynamic institution that helps spur the development of mass public education in a budding Los Angeles city.